to the defending champion, Jeff Hornacek. As we mentioned, a winner earlier today in the two-ball competition. Jeff Hornacek had one stretch in the 94-95 season, hit 11 straight threes without a miss. That uh, tied an NBA record. And Hornacek decides to start at this end of the floor on the right side, which is different from everyone else. Right-handed shooter, keeps the rack on his right side. After this first round, we'll see if he runs around to the other side. Well, that's because he shoots going right. The scouting report on Horny is going right. And the main thing is taking that ball off that right rack. We'll see if he does it with every rack, because some guys have been switching. Now, he looked a little fatigued at the end of that uh, two-ball competition, so that'll be another factor here. Man, are you look at it? taking part of the two ball as a plus or a minus i think it's a plus i think any sort of competition you can do even the even the rookie game they weren't playing any defense so they shouldn't be too tired <laughs> he's got it going right now what a sensational shooter jeff hornacek who at the foul line is at 97 percent this season leading the nba this guy's one of the great shooters that's ever lived that second shot, he tried to put a little more arc on it because he knew the first one had fallen short by a good bit. Now to the final rack. And again, catches fire. Jeff Hornacek with the money ball off the mark. But a good job. That'll put him in the finals. Jeff Hornacek finished for the 17. Right about here is where he starts to feel that he's got it going. He had, he had made the last two for the previous rack. Now he starts to string them out. Jeff you know what? You, you said you were fatigued, but you shot a lot of energy up there, Jeff. Well, um, I didn't get them all off. I had to rush those last four to just get them up there. But uh, I am had to pick up the pace next round. Having a chance to look at the competition. Who's the main competition over here on the bench? Uh, no, the way they were shooting them, uh, you know, Huber and I were the ones in it last time and uh, you know, the first scores were 12, 13. These guys lit it up with 15, 16, 17. So, uh, you know, both those guys can shoot the ball. So we'll see who gets hot. All right. Keep it going, Jeff. Go back to you, Mark. All right. Thank you, Cheryl. So we head to the finals of the AT&T shootout. Dirk Nowitzki of Dallas, Ray Allen of Milwaukee, and the defending champ, Jeff Hornacek of Utah. And here is Jeff Hornacek of the Utah Jazz, the defending champion, who is seeking to make it a doubleheader win, capping off the victory in the two ball. Hornacek at, at one point in that opening round hit seven straight shots. Well, he had a tough time finishing. Let's see if, because he didn't finish in the first round, if he hurries his performance here. But I quite honestly wouldn't be surprised to see something in the 20s right here. One, two, ready, go! And Hornacek opening up by hitting his first shot. He looks like he's rushing it a little bit more. He's determined to get him done. That might, that might hurt him. opened up with just a 10 and Jeff Hornacek is struggling here in the final round it's not looking good he's got to catch fire right here he should be able to finish all the balls he's well well ahead of pace right now which means that he is has sped up his routine right here which is causing him to go cold still lots of time 15 seconds on the clock that's a that's a big one hitting the money ball Final seconds. Oh, big shot. So Jeff Hornacek struggled a bit. It hurt. He finished with a, a 13, and uh, you get the idea that his, his kids know that it's going to be very difficult. It's in the hands of of Dirk Nowitzki of the Dallas Mavericks. Let's go to Cheryl. So Jeff Hornacek is in the lead. I know you look tired, but did, did you just simply run out of gas? Well, I don't know. Uh, a couple of those first shots of the first five, I thought were right in, and I looked back up and I saw it bounce out. So uh, after that, I think the middle of the middle of the round, I got a little tired. Uh, then I took a deep breath. I don't know if they saw it, but I took a deep breath and tried to 
Try to get a little energy for those last 10. Still entertaining, Jeff. Still entertaining. Mark? Up to nine. Well, he understood that the money ball meant a lot. He lost. Horny wins it again. Yep. Hornacek winning the shootout. Although, you get the idea, he, he doesn't feel as good about it as he did two years ago when he, when he lit it up. He's going to feel good in a couple seconds when they give that check. That's why he's going to feel real good. So Jeff Hornacek makes it two straight, I mean, the fourth two-time winner in the 14-year history of the event, joining Larry Bird, Craig Hodges, and Mark Price. Let's go to Craig with Jeff. Well, Jeff Hornacek, that's the first time you ever won something big sitting on the bench, isn't it? Well, uh, that, was, that wasn't too pretty, but, uh, you know, it's tough when you got to get out there in only two rounds to... Uh, uh, you know, if the first round you're hot, then the second one seems to be a little bit, uh, a little bit tougher, and you know that, that's what happened tonight. I think with all three of us. The NBA All-Star Game is the chance the whole weekend to promote the league, the players, the greatness of its players. After performing the ball, now the AT&T shootout. Are you sure you will be your last year? Yeah. <laughs> sure. uh, you know, uh, uh, I like playing the game, getting out there, but all the travel and. All that stuff, you know, my guy said, if we win it this year, you got to go back next year. I said, well, they won't let me if I'm retired. So uh, and maybe I'll sign a 10-day contract right before the All-Star break or something. I don't know. We talked to Rod <laughs> Thorne moments ago, and I think he wants you back next year. Let's go over to show. Well, a look at the standing Jeff Hornacek with a 13, the lowest score ever to win the finals. So joining the shootout champions list, which includes Larry Bird, Dale Ellis, Craig Hodges, Mark Price, Glenn Rice, Tim Lecker, Steve Kerr, and Jeff Hornacek winning it for the second time. We'll be back with the trophy presentation in a moment.